Tight outside. Temperatures are 52, 53. It'll probably go up to about 55. So that's pretty good for 4.94. See all all workers are still working here. We've been at it for um, a couple minutes now. So you can see there, 1.53. Uh, hardware monitor is showing that the voltage didn't jump up at all. I'm gonna check out the DigiBRN. See, I set it on auto, but the load line calibration from the CPU jumped up to ultra high. And usually, uh, I've seen ultra high um, uh, jump up the voltage. Yeah, the voltage just jumped up to 1.54 there for a second. There it is. Um, so, you know, I've seen the, the ultra high setting uh, go maybe 0 0.02, 0 0.03. Um, volts higher than what I set it at. Uh, actually the next level up is extreme and I've actually seen the extreme load line calibration up the voltage like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 volts. Um, so and I you know I set that one time it was an accident and uh, I had the voltage set at 1.5327 or something like that. And the voltage jumped up to like 1.58 when I when I had the load line calibration of extreme. So I would recommend staying away from that because I mean it really overshoots the voltage. It's supposed to help with the you know the voltage drop whenever under heavy load. So I mean it, it does its job, but the extreme setting really goes overboard. So I'd recommend staying away from that. Um, you know, I've never really seen anybody go above 1.55 volts unless you're under liquid nitrogen or, or helium or something like that. Um, but with air cooling and water cooling, um, I haven't seen you know anybody go higher than you know 1.55. I actually went up to 1.57 last night. Uh, Trying to get, um, trying to get over five gigahertz, but I was having some problems. Temperatures were getting too high because it was, uh, it was a little bit hotter outside last uh, yesterday. So right now we're at 56 degrees. All workers still running here. We've been at it for six minutes. So uh, we'll go we'll go to 10 minutes just to give you a quick view uh, that it is stable. I mean I've ran this test uh, for uh, a little over two hours last night, and, and no problems. Um, and then we'll jump it up to five five gigahertz. And I couldn't get it stable at five gigahertz last night, so we'll try to do it tonight. It's a little bit colder tonight, so. Temperature still at 56. Um, the voltage is sticking around 1.53, 1.54, jumping back and forth. Uh, hardware monitor actually shows that the voltage hasn't jumped past 1.52. So, but I'd probably go off this reading. Uh, it's more accurate because it's running right off the CPU, I mean off the motherboard. Um, actually, you know, this, uh, this intake here, um, last week it dropped down, temperatures dropped down pretty cold, and I did some testing, um, 
and uh, the fans were running at 100% for a while, and this actually, this hose here actually had some frost on it, so you may think it's stupid, but it drops my temp temperatures exponentially. If I didn't have that right now, and with the room room temperature right now, probably around 70 Fahrenheit, uh, that'd be well over 60. Um, probably, probably closer to 65, 70 degrees Celsius on the CPU, and we all know what happens once you hit that, it starts to throttle, so we're still at 56 here. I don't know if you can see that. I can show you better on um, sensor here. I don't know if you can see that better. CPU, 56 degrees Celsius. Six. Motherboards here. Motherboards at 22. So the motherboard stays pretty cool. It's got that cold air blowing in there. And actually, to tell you the truth, um, after you know, after that air goes through the radiator uh, and comes out of the case, it actually cools down my room. Um, so it's actually pretty cool. And it, you know, even running through the radiator. Uh, on the CPUs at 100%, it still comes out pretty cold. So, uh, alright, so we're about 10 minutes here. Um, you know what, I'll actually do a, um, a Unigen benchmark test here. To show you uh, what it's what it's like at 4.9 gigahertz with the with the Crossfire 6790s, I actually got the um, the video cards overclocked here a little bit. The stock core clock is 840, and I have it right now at 890. Um, now let me jump that up to. 915 and then I'll jump the memory clock up to 1175 uh, I gotta do this for both of them so we'll run the Unigen to see how 4.94 4 4.92 or 4.93 gigahertz does uh, with the with the video cards so I'll close this out like I said the GPUs that um, 915 megahertz core clock and 1175 memory clock uh, and the processors at 4.93 gigahertz so I'll go ahead and stop these tests um, as you can see here zero errors zero errors so there was no problems with any of them so we'll go ahead. Yeah, four point nine two, four point nine one. Um, once, uh, once uh, after we do this, we'll uh, overclock a little bit higher and. I won't do this text test, uh, this Unigen test next time because um, it is a little time consuming. But the resolution is set on 5760 by 1080 p and uh, I'll benchmark it here. So you can see here, um, I don't think I have all the uh, settings enabled, all the graphics settings enabled, but you can see here it's it's actually running pretty smooth and uh, I actually forgot to show you, I wanted to show you the power consumption um, out of the wall at 4.9 gigahertz um, when I was doing it last night it was probably close to uh, it was pretty close to 600 watts coming out of the wall and uh, it's probably, I don't um, I don't really know how that works. Somebody told me that with an 80% efficiency PSU, that um, you're you're actually the system's only using 80% of that 600 watts 